In this screencast, I'm going to talk about the Office 365 Groups feature that is now available to us. What is Groups? It's a way to manage workflows and communication for collaborative groups. You'll be able to share files, calendars, and conversations with people that you work with. You can use it for communicating with your class or club, facilitating small group work, or communicating with team and department members. We'll learn how to access groups, how to start a group, how to have a conversation, and how to share files. Some things to consider. Before you start, um, if you're going to begin a group, it's a good idea to set it to private because um, otherwise anyone can see the information that's being exchanged in your group. You're also going to want to encourage your students or require them to include an adult moderator in any group that they begin. Um, this will just help keep things professional. So to locate your group, you are going to open up your webmail, Office 365 webmail, and you'll see that under Outlook, there's a group section. If you click on Calendar, you'll find a group section. If you click on People, you have groups on the left-hand side pane, and there is a group under OneDrive now, which is loading for groups, and this is where all of your group files would be stored under your OneDrive. Um, so the next thing we are going to want to do now that we know there's all these different places to access our groups is we are going to want to start a group. So if we go back to Outlook to start our group, we're going to click on Outlook, and then if you click the plus sign next to groups in your left pane, it says create group. And this sometimes takes a minute or two to load. And a panel will open up that will allow you to create your group. So if I wanted to create a group, I would type in the name of my group. And the group ID um, is available, or I can change it if I want. And I would add a description. And I can um, change my privacy settings. For this one, I definitely want to change my privacy settings from public, where anyone can see what's inside, to private. So make sure that you do that, because once you set your privacy settings, you can't unset them. You're also going to maybe want to subscribe members automatically, so they receive group and conversations in their inbox. That way, it comes directly to their email, and they don't have to go to the group section if they don't want to or forget about the group section. So go ahead and subscribe people based on your need, and then you press Create. And once your group is created, it's going to let you add members already. So if you have a class, you could go ahead and add your class. Or if you have colleagues that are on your team, you could go ahead and directly add them. Um, or they can search for it later. So I'm just going to show you how to add a person. You can start by typing their name, and then you add them to your group. And when you're done, you just press add, which is going to save that, and it will send them a notification to their e email box. And then it's going to open up your, your group here. Um, so once your group has begun, you can do a number of things, including start a conversation, and it will send any conversation items to their inbox, um, or you can share files. So to start a group conversation, you're just going to press Start Conversation and type your message. Let's use this. All right, and that will send that message to everybody's inbox, and it will also keep a record of it here in my groups area. If I wanted to see other conversations that have happened, I click to a different group you'll see that the conversations are sort of archived. And along the bottom here, you'll see the um, different things that people have said in that conversation, it just sort of stacks them together. Um, if I wanted to share a file, what I'm going to do is I'll click on the group that I want to share a file with, and then I click Files. And this is going to actually open up my um, OneDrive. For business and you'll see um, a tab pop open that says OneDrive for business and it also highlights here that OneDrive is open 
and I can see that I'm in my OPGAS private group and then I can either upload a file or I can drag and drop a file to upload. So to drag and drop a file, you're simply going to locate the file and for this I'm going to um, upload a, an example rubric and it will move that, or copy it basically, into the Our Files section and this is the locating information and sources rubric that I wanted to share with my group. Okay, so that's how you can share a file and then all of these files will be viewable in the um, area for the group and the group has access to that and can comment on it and um, do things like that. Now, um, the last feature that you might find helpful is the calendar feature. So if I click on calendar for groups and go to my group calendar, you'll see under groups that here, um, my FTIS librarians is highlighted in green. Um, and if I wanted to add something for them, that one's checked, I could just simply click on here and type in a, an event. And um, it's highlighted in green and that will show up in everyone who is in that group that will show up in their calendar so that they know that that event is taking place. And you might even be able to set reminders and that kind of thing. So this would be very helpful for a class and reminding them of due dates and that sort of thing. So that's just how we can use the calendar. So in this session, I have talked about how to access your groups using the left hand pane, how to start a group um, and be sure that you keep your groups private, how to manage a conversation, how to upload a file and how to use the calendar. Um, and if you have any questions, you can feel free to email me.